Hi, this is Tony with FundamentalForexBlogging.com. Today, the Fundamental Forex Blog is presenting the monthly release of the Canadian Ivy Purchasing Managers Index Report, released by the Richard Ivy School of Business. This report was released on Wednesday, July 7, 2010, and posted on the blog www dot fundamental forex blogging dot com july sixth of two thousand and ten here is my setup to trade the currency pair british pound against the canadian dollar early on my broker spread shown here is small but may go up considerably about a minute before the news release which may be shown later in this video Next is my plan for the trade if there is a surprise to the market. Of course, I need to get the news report as soon as possible. So I use the Forex Factory's calendar since they have an actual pending button which will give me the news report within a minute or two. The green button in the middle of the top left box shown here after I have refreshed the calendar page. The next few minutes before the news release will be cut out of this video so as to get to the chase. There is less than a minute until the news release, so I will keep an eye on the broker spread. Notice that it is not moving up before the release. I will probably not need to wait until the broker spread returns to a normal level after the news release before entering a trade. Now it is time to get the news release. In just a few seconds I will click the button. Notice the button spinning in the calendar. Sometimes it takes a few clicks of the actual report buttons to get the actual report. In this case the actual report is lower than the forecast by 5.2, meaning a good opportunity for a scalp trade. With the broker spread being normal, an opportunity to buy the currency pair GBP CAD is apparent. I have selected the buy market order set up and executed the buy. Just barely in the top right you can see the buy indicator on the chart. I have another buy market order set up to enter another trade. There, I have entered a second buy trade. This buy indicator is more apparent on the chart. Now that I have two buy trades going, my exit sell market orders are ready for an exit. The actual news report came out low enough negative to cause the currency market to sell off the Canadian dollar and buy the British pound, but it appears that this is not what is happening with the currency market I have chosen to trade. Perhaps the upcoming European press conference 15 minutes later and the US unemployment claims 30 minutes later may be in influencing the market. Now you can watch the chart until my exit from the trade.
Well, it appears that the currency market did not move in the direction I had expected. I had two losers. I have posted a follow-up report on my blog which will show how four different currency charts moved in the aftermath of this news release. This re video is re presented by the Fundamental Forex blog. I wrote a follow-up post on the blog www.fundamentalforexblogging.com Click the link below this video to check out what happened on the four currency charts I monitored for this particular news release.